Hello everyone, this is Carson Cloud. Welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure OneDrive Sync Client in Windows. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my test machines here. So if you have Windows 10, OneDrive Client is installed automatically or it's already embedded to Windows 10. Just type in OneDrive. So OneDrive desktop client, click OK. Right here, you want to enter your credentials, your Office 365 credentials. I'm going to enter mine. Cloud Admin at M365 X61 8825.onmicrosoft.com Click Sign In. Enter my password. So by default, OneDrive create a folder called OneDrive right under your profiles. I'm going to change this. You can change it and put it anywhere you want. I'm going to put it in the root of C drive. Make a new folder called OneDrive. And select. Click Next. Click next. So here's just information on uh, read only availability and device. This is the icon that you will see on your folders. If I go into my, oh, let's see here, go to the PC, OneDrive folders. This is what you will see under status. The cloud mean the file is online only. The circle with a check is available on this device. That means the file is stored locally on your computer. The circle with a check and a solid green. It means mark your mark your important file, ensure important file are accessible by clicking and choosing always on this device. That means the file is always stored on your computer versus um, uh, available only the cloud. So you click next, click next. If you want to install OneDrive on your phone, there's information. Just click on get OneDrive for, for your phone here. Click next and open my OneDrive folder. So the by default, it's creating a desktop folder, my documents and my pictures. So anything that I save to this folder, it will copy it. It will sync to um, Office 365 or OneDrive Cloud. I'm going to click on the OneDrive icon here in the lower right hand corner. It's just telling me that it's syncing right now. And if I go to settings, let's go to settings. Settings here, there's some options available. You can do under general, you can start OneDrive automatically. That's enabled by default. Automatically sync that's enabled by default. I wouldn't recommend to uncheck anything here. Just leave this alone Files on demand Leave that alone account 
So you can add additional account if you have multiple OneDrive account. You can add that by clicking on Add Account here. And if you want to unsync or unlink this computer, you can just click on Unlink this PC. To say if you plan to sell your computer or computer is going away, you can unlink the OneDrive client or the OneDrive sync. Manage storage. If you click on Manage storage, it's going to take you to the cloud. OneDrive. Uh, location in syncing so right now it's in sync one folder or you can stop the sync let's choose choose folders so right now it's been syncing all these folders if you have additional folder you can just um, you should see it's available just say if I want to Let's create a new folder. So it's uh, sync everything from files and folder, files and file not in folders. It's going to sync desktops, everything on the desktops. I'm going to click OK. That's the account backup. It just it just telling you that um, the the um, the files will save on the other um, computers as well or the other devices can manage backup here. So all these folders, all these files will be saved to a different devices if you click on Start Protections. And um, it's just telling you that if you lose this PC, the files will be available on the other computer. So if you want to do that, just click on Start Protections. Just say if you have multiple computers and you want the files to be available on all on the other two PCs, you just click on Start Protections here. Network. You don't have to worry about the settings. Um, if you want, you can, but this is don't limit to anything. Office, just talking about office um, applications. Sync files, let me choose to merge, change or keep both copies. I will keep both copies. I'll leave that alone. And that's it. That's how you um, sync and configure OneDrive. So the highlighted yellow, that means folders is being up to date. As you can see here, right click and say it's up to date. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover Office 365, Configuration Manager or SCCM, and Azure. Thank you and have a good day.